Hey guys, welcome. Um, I really just did a whole reading and it was not recording, like, so, <laughs> you know. Um, but this reading is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. This is your weekly love messages. So, we're going to see what's going on for all the Tauruses when it comes to love this week which is July 12th through July 18th, okay? So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna shuffle a whole new reading and see what comes out. Maybe some of the same message will come out, but we shall see, okay? So first off, we have patience. Okay, deja vu. Yeah, it's kind of the same message, shattered, okay. Um, so first I want to say that it seems like Taurus that you are kind of waiting on someone or something. You're waiting for someone to move towards you or come towards you or profess their love to you or you're waiting for someone to come to you and communicate with you. You're waiting for that message from that person. Um, this is definitely somebody that you've dealt with in the past Taurus, okay? So you're waiting to hear from this person. You're wondering if this person is ever going to come toward you or if you guys are ever going to speak again, if you're going to see each other again, if you're going to have any conversations. Um, you know, um, I do feel that this person, either you or this person, you guys are going to communicate with each other somehow, whether that be on social media, through text message, through phone call, or seeing each other in person. I do feel like there's going to be like a chance opportunity to see this person or communicate with this person. Um, so with the Deja Vu card, um, this is definitely what I was getting in the last reading that I recorded for you guys was that, um, you know, so you may see this person but definitely they're going to be on the same vibration that they were on when you last left them. So, you know, whether their vibration was like, eh, no, I'm not dealing with you. They're still going to be on that, you know. Um, they might just be like, hey, we're friends. You know, conversation like, hey, we're friends. It's like nothing serious. But, um if they were on a vibration of like lying, cheating, deceiving, or stealing, they're still going to be on that same vibration. So when you see them, you know, if they cheated on you in the past, um, they might not necessarily be cheating on you now because you're not together. But guess what? Whoever the person is that they're with, they're cheating on. So they're doing the same things that they were doing when you left them last. So it's like they have not learned their lesson. They have not changed their behavior. They're just doing it with a different person. Um, so if they were lying to you, they're now lying to this new person that they're dealing with. If they were, you know, doing sneaky things behind your back and stuff, they're still doing that, but they're doing it with another person, okay? So I feel like... Um, the realization of that Taurus of like when you see this person or when you talk to this person, it kind of shatters your reality because you're just like, um, maybe you had hope that this person would change or this person would shift or this person would adjust their behavior. And so when you see them and you see that they're on their same BS or that same immature self, you're just like, wow, you're really like not going <laughs> to, you're really not going to change. Like really, really, is this what, you know, you have going on for life? This is like, this is just it, huh? So I feel like that is very like shattering for you, Taurus, to see that this person is like, rather be completely unaware of themselves, manipulate people, try to control people, you know, lie, cheat, or steal. Um, they're just doing things that are just like not in alignment with you. So it's like, okay. Okay. Good to see you though. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm gonna keep it moving though. So I feel like it's that type of realization, Taurus. So let's see. Okay. 
okay we have getting to know each other so like i said when you see each other it's going to be very lighthearted. it's not going to be anything serious it's going to be just like the first time you guys ever you know talked or met up or whatever it's just going to be like hey how are you you know getting to know each other so it's kind of like meeting a stranger maybe you feel like a stranger to this person when you meet them because it's just like now i just look at you in a completely different way like i look at you in a different light i look at you in a different perception so it's like now i see you differently than how i seen you before like i really thought that i knew you and now i'm understanding that i don't know you and like who are you in reality <laughs> Okay, yeah, reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. So like I said, you guys are going to see each other. You guys are going to communicate with each other. There's going to be a situation where you run into this person or, you know, you guys have a conversation like, you know, this person might be coming back around to us like, hey, I miss you. And you're just like, uh, I'm sure, you know, and, and on a low Taurus, you miss this person too, but it's just like you seeing their behavior and how they're acting and the things that they're still doing. You're just like, it's no way in hell. It's no way in hell that we would have anything going on. You are definitely super attracted to this person, though. They're super attracted to you. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So aside from that, you two being attracted to each other this week, Taurus, you're definitely like, you're looking good. You're putting on your best outfit. Okay, your hair is done, you know, your eyebrows is done, your nails is done, or whatever. Dudes, you may have gotten a, a haircut, you got you fresh pair of shoes or something, but you're looking good, you're feeling good. You're looking like, you know, I could bag anybody, so it doesn't even matter, to be honest, you know. So that's the kind of energy that you guys are in this week. I hope that this message resonates with you all. Um, that's it for now. Make sure that you guys share this and you like it and drop a comment. Let me know what you think.